For the reverse gradient, I'm going to first paint my nails with Essie Alt Natural, then Essie Matte About You. The matte top coat makes my nails no longer shiny and flat. I wanted to create a contrast between the glitter and the non-shiny flat nails. Next, with Shimmer Polish Alice, I'm going to do a reverse gradient where I start from the top and then I'm going to go halfway down. Then I'll keep adding nail polish glitter to the very top and slowly gradient it down. Then I'm going to add SE Matte About You so it's going to be the same thickness. Again, I'll show you how I did this with my middle finger. Now I'm going to take a makeup brush and acetone to remove any of the glitter on my nails. For the Swarovski Crystal Accent Nail, I'm going to use Swarovski Crystals and Nail Glue. I'll post a link below to where you can purchase any of these supplies on my blog. And then use a toothpick to apply the nail glue and bent tweezers to apply the crystals. I'm going to repeat that step. I thought these nails would be perfect for the wedding season to add a little bling to your ring finger and also for prom. Prom and weddings are for glamorous nails and I think these are perfect for the glamour and bling and flash and shine. First I created a border and then I'll start putting the crystals inside. And readjust. Next I'm going to use 1.5 millimeter studs from the bornprettystore.com to insert into the spaces. For the half moon crystal and studs, I'm going to add a dab of glue and a crystal in the middle and then just glue around and add the nail studs around. And that's six nail studs around the crystal. Okay, thanks so much for watching my crystal stud tutorial. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and also check me out at thecraftyninja.com.